Welcome back, boys. Another gunfire video. I am on fire. Just kidding. This is the first one that's not a tier list, and it is a patch notes rundown, pretty much. We have been blessed with the new patch. We have a new hero, Queen Yang. We have new weapons, new monsters, new difficulty, and overall game adjustment. So I'm just going to run through the patch very quickly, and I'll have another video giving an in-depth breakdown of the new hero, his ascension, how you play him, etc. So keep an eye out for that one, probably within like 10 hours of this video being released. So overview, our new hero is Queen Yang. He is a melee bird character, which iconically is known as the loading screen for Act 3. Been waiting for him for a while. Instead of using shield, he has armor as his defense, which can regenerate on hit or in close range. His primary skill is leap. He leaps forward with a hard kick, dealing damage to all enemies within 7 meters, and each hit can recover armor. Uh, this is a pretty cool ability, and I think it's probably going to be great for speedrunning. Queen Yang is probably going to be the new ideal, as you can just bop around with your E and fly through the map. So it's really fun, and it's definitely a dynamic way of playing the game. Our secondary skill is cleave, so you can fan your wing out and do close range damage to enemies, and this can stack pretty high. This is the replacement for the usual grenades that the dog and cat get. So I think it's a pretty unique way to play. You unlock Queen Yang at level 40, and it's definitely an enjoyable way to try it. I don't think he's very strong in Nightmare difficulty, which is the new one, and I don't think he holds up very well in co-op play, but he's it's fairly accessed. I don't think it's I think it's harsh to be super critical, especially when they're working through these changes. He has five exclusive talents, just like all the other heroes. His first is Continuous Leap. If his leap doesn't hit the target, decrease 50% cooldown time. Second is Survival Enhancement, plus 20 HP, plus 20 armor. Third is Charged Shooting. Restore one armor point whenever your shot hits the enemy, up to six points per second. Fourth is Cleave Reinforcement. Cleave damage plus 300, so it's just a flat bonus damage increase. And his fifth is Emergency Defense. When his armor reaches zero, immune to normal damage for two seconds. And this effect can only activate once the armor has been fully charged. So you can't abuse any shenanigans where your armor is bounced between one and zero and you're normal. It has to be fully charged in order to get an immunity. Overall, the gameplay for the game has been adjusted quite a bit. Elite difficulty has been reduced from what I can tell. The recommended entry level for elite difficulty is now level 40 uh, when you unlock Queen Yang. This doesn't feel right to me. It feels like Elite's gotten harder, if anything, but as far as the patch notes go, that's how they're concerned. And Nightmare difficulty is unlocked once you beat Elite. You have to beat it again. You won't automatically have it unlocked. So do a playthrough of Elite and you'll get it unlocked. And this recommended level entry level is 80. So quite a little bit, little bit higher. But once again, it feels, it feels like it's actually pretty difficult and they've upped the ante for it as playing elite co-op was very difficult and it's usually just a snooze fest but that could be just the new hero etc for the new weapons we have sting which is a crossbow it's basically woodpecker but better sting has three different fire modes and it will automatically rotate between the three it has a three shot two shot and single shot mode and in single shot it'll cause explosions on the enemies and break their armor as for the second weapon, very, very unique weapon, we have Talisman. Uh, this weapon is Talismans in the name, and you can switch between all three elements by choice, like you can just rotate through them, and it auto locks onto the enemies. So for all you rainbow lovers, you don't need to pay attention, just spam that shit, let it fly, and it's really good. Uh, I think the ability to switch between elements is insane. This thing could be really good getting it early on and switching for Luigi, just switching shield, and then in to lightning, instantly switching to fire to damage his health directly, uh, and even for other second act boss, like Ichiosaurus, just switching to corrosion for the armor, and then to fire for his health. I think it's really good, and it's a fun way to play, and it'll be definitely very interesting to see the inscriptions on it. Um, haven't really had much time to play with it, as I'm pretty tired, and the patch released earlier than I was expecting, so there's that. As for the new monsters, we have two. We have the Demonic Umbrella. It is a monster that likes to fly at low attitude and is in the third act, the Duo Fjord. It only really appears in one of the two or two of the stages and 
Its weak spot is below the umbrella, so... I don't know, it's a cute little monster. I think it's a nice addition to the game. It doesn't create any major impact, at least I haven't felt it, but ver having variety is always good. And there's a new elite monster, the Elite Monk, who can create mirror images and has a demonic aura, and he summons large lantern spirits. I don't actually have any gameplay of this Elite Monk or anything like that, so I'm just going to chuck in this little patch notes snippet. Other than that, we've only had one monster adjustment, which was the Bandit Retainer, and they reduced the damage as he was clapping cheeks. Other than that, we have a few new achievements, mostly for the bird. So kill five or more enemies in a single leap for 50 times is Airstrike. We have Eyes on Weakness, kill 50 rogue arsonists by breaking their oil barrels on the back. And then we have a bunch for completing everything in the game. So encounter all elite monsters, unlock all monsters in the logbook, win the game as each characters, unlock all weapons, occult scrolls, etc. I think this, and that's all for the patch notes, but I think this is an interesting way they're taking the game. And it seems like, it seems like they're leading towards like a release date at some point time soon, maybe. As adding achievements like that are usually something you do near the end, like an unlock all weapons. They're definitely probably still coming, bringing out more, but it feels like they're heading towards a, a finale, I guess. And maybe they'll just have more content in the future, but we'll have to see. As for my opinions on where like the new guns would rank in a tier list or whatever, I think the Talisman has potential to rank pretty high. I haven't even had a really good chance to play with the um, split, I think it was called, as I kept dying before getting to the elite uh, duo fjord, so I am a boomer gamer, didn't make it, the talisman's really cool so far, and my overall opinions on Queen Yang, uh, he's pretty fun, I think it's fun for a change, but I don't think it's the character I'd choose if I was trying to like, you know, carry friends or just play for fun. Oh, I guess I'd play for fun with him. But yeah, I guess I, it's kind of hard to pinpoint where things would sit on a tier list. Uh, the only real change, if you've watched my last video, the only real change in between is they released a patch which gutter stomped the Glimmering. It's still really good. I, I'd still put it S tier, but it's definitely not leagues above everything else. So they basically just reduced it in all regards. It's AoE, it's damage, it's elemental chance etc so they put him in the ground a little bit but he's still holding strong he's still s tier so you know win some you lose some that's practically it for this video it's just a quick patch rundown and even then it wasn't that quick because i ran on quite a little bit uh i'm gonna i'll bring out a bird gameplay like i've mentioned multiple times about the video bird gameplay and character guide just to run through his ascension and everything especially as i think the content for Gunfire Reborn is pretty lacking, even in my even in my channel. I'm I'm slack, I'm lazy as shit. But it's surprising to see how little content there is on YouTube and in general. There's not much love for this game, so I guess I'll be the one to give it some love. And with that, if you enjoy much of my content, feel free to give me some love in return. Uh, my watch time and from subscribers is actually astronomically low. I have like I think half a million YouTube views now and I'm not even at a thousand subscribers yet so it's pretty brutal. Please consider hitting the subscribe button, it helps me out a lot and it gives me that little serotonin boost, the little validation that I need in order to, you know, make me feel good. I think we all like a little bit of validation. Uh, let me know what character you enjoy playing the most. Um, for me, Queen Yang is fun but I'm probably going to stick with the dog as, I don't know, Double gloves are fun. But yeah, let you leave your thoughts about the patch, all that shit in the comments. Subscribe, like the video, all the good shit. And have a good day. Bye-bye.